I want you to imagine this. Imagine if you could wake up, get out of bed, get dressed, and proceed to go out into the real world. Whoa, calm down there, Adrian. Hold on, you're pushing the limits of my brain through this one. Do you think I'm on acid? Wake up, get up, out of bed. You want me to imagine that? You do fantasy. You don't know your market as a pickup artist, do you? And have any beautiful, sexy woman you want itching to talk to you. Itching? Is she itching because she wants to talk to me? Or is she talking to me because she's itching and you've got to lower the fucking bar? Two sentences in. I said her itching to talk to you. Huh? To me? Wow. You want me to imagine that? You're talking to your audience going, listen guys, I want you to do something crazy here. Imagine as a woman walking across the street, flip her hand down her pants, scratching, she's got fucking some industrial strength fucking herpes down there. Pole vaulting towards you, knickers in her handbag. Could you possibly live in a world that crazy? Get it? Yes. Or if I'm a member of your audience, no. Imagine. Really try to imagine. Adrian, I have managed... Believe me, mate, I know that you have apps. You think you're the fucking God's gift to fucking minge and you, you, you have nothing but contempt for the absolute abject losers in your audience. But please, don't push it. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm envisioning this fucking fantasy world, this Middle Earth that you have described with Tolkien-esque fucking detail. I get it an effortless methodology where the women are desperate to talk to you. Is this methodology involve me, I don't know, giving them an STD that causes them to itch and therefore... Can I imagine an effortless... I don't know, that would be impossible. You'd need scientists beyond the realms of any anyone, you know, intelligence that we could not possibly fathom. But no, you, you kangaroo fucking prick. Instead of the other way around. Oh, oh, the other way around it? Oh, well... Yeah, he's right on that one. When you really, really think about it. <sighs> yes. That scenario is the holy grail scenario for every man's existence. The holy grail scenario for every man. Oh, Icarus, fly thee not so close to the sun. I'd have thought the holy grail for some men at least would be the holy grail. But there, that scenario, once you've got that, once you've got a woman who's interested in you and finds you compelling enough company that she wants to maybe move a bit quicker towards you. That once you've done that, lads, every, that's it. You've won, you're like, game over. You've completed life. Not so sure? Then ask yourself this question. Are you seriously trying to get, get I get it. We get it. Everyone, Joseph 8276 could have got this. If you could have one million dollars, but be stuck in your current boring sex life. It's not actually a boring sex life, Adrian, because it can't be boring. Do you know why? Because it doesn't exist. <clears throat> or make 60k a year and have bombshells everywhere. Yeah, I can I can imagine this. A million dollars would probably make my sex life a lot less boring with a few reasonable investments. And I'm certainly not going to be putting any of it. You will not get penny one towards your fucking course. Drooling to talk to you every single day. Oh, they're dribbling now, are they? So they're, they're scratching, they're itching, and they're dribbling. Boy, these sound like really attractive women. So they're, they're sort of slightly, they're brain damaged, sat there, uh, and, and, and still managing to scratch them. Fantastic. I've got a flea-bitten fucking, you know, you know Victim of some sort of hideous car accident. Which one are you picking? Well, unfortunately, Adrian, I've got a funny feeling that you're not going to offer me both of those things. Right? Because if I pick the first one, right, are you going to give me that? Are you going to give me the million dollars so I can have my boring sex life? Because I'll take that. I'll get a go-kart, motherfucker. Imagine the world's most gorgeous women paying you a ton of attention, truly interested in you. Not because I've stolen their handbag. While you sit back and semi-angrily ask yourself, why in the hell did I miss out on this for so long? How massive does your ego have to be? And how small does your cock have to go inside your own body? It must be growing out of your ass that you've got gorgeous women pole vaulting towards you. 
literally punching each other in the head so they can just get close to you. So they can get a whiff of your fucking smeg. And what, what, do, you, what do you do? You sit there and go, oh, I'm so pissed off I wasn't doing this for ages. Because it's all about you. But then imagine that 0.5 seconds of anger instantly turns into a big smile and glee because at this moment, you don't give a damn about the past. I'll tell you who else doesn't give a damn about the past. You, isn't that? Hey, isn't that, Adrian? Yeah, we'll get onto your past later. Seeing as you have a centerfold model caliber bombshell laying nude in your arms. Oh, she's laying nude in my arms. So what's happened? Have I just, why is she in my arms? Why am I carrying her nude? Was she naked when she arrived? But is that because she's got bed bugs and everything? You're uncontrollably giddy. Oh, so I'm carrying, so I'm carrying this woman who's covered in flea bites, right, who's dribbling, naked, down the street, and I'm going, <laughs> right, and I, I, this is an amazing scenario, Adrian, this is, really is tr tr tremendous, I can totally see this happening. To hell with the past, and today you can finally make that dream a reality, instead of continuing to waste years living well below the giddy threshold. Yes, for many years I've had to struggle living below the poverty threshold, but now I didn't realise there was a giddy threshold. Presumably the height of giddiness is, you know, is your mum's sister, which is why there's the phrase, oh my giddy aunt. Is that the way? The giddy threshold. Fucking yeah, you threshold more like. But to actually make it a reality, it is critical that you watch this video all the way through. Really? Right, it's 41 minutes. I've got to sit through, I've got to look at you. You fucking, you, did, what, you lizard fucking skinned fucking rape faced prick. I've got to look at you and listen to your voice. So please, shut down ESPN, any random tube sites, and comment on your high school crush's Facebook posts some other time. Okay, I was doing that fine, yeah, first. When he said high school crush, obviously, I'm assuming he means the one, oh wait, you mean the girl I was at high school with, not the... Oh, I thought you meant girls who were next. Forget it. I'm, I'm digging myself a hole here. Right. But an agent's going to show me how to deal with that. Because what I'm about to share with you today is going to take you from a hoper to an achiever. Adrian, this video is long enough. Could you just... I am so sick of you fuckers padding out everything. Whether it's a fucking random PDF on fucking scribed, an actual book, a fucking video, what a podcast, you can't just say something concisely. And I know I am the last person on planet Earth who should be criticising anybody because they tend to waffle on a bit. But you know what? At least I'm goddamn funny when I do it. From a post commenter to a chick banger. From oh, of course, the spectrum of post commenter to chick banger. But it all starts with your undivided attention right here, right now. Go on. So please, give me your word, you're all ears, and I shall proceed. Adrian, this is a pre-recorded video, you can't hear me, and you are not a good enough actor that you could convince me that I do. Right, I'm, I'm, just, get the fuck on with it! Christ almighty, do you chat women up like this? This is how you get women. Do you bore them until they fucking just pass out, or they go, oh please, just, oh, d listen, I'll blow you anything, just shut the fuck up. Okay, still here? I'm gonna fucking thump you. Cool. So now that I know you're serious about attracting every beautiful woman that crosses your path, let me tell you a little about who the hell I am. Did you seriously just say about who the hell I am? Who, 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 are, who the hell are you? You're not the rock, mate. Who the hell I am? And yeah, I already know who you are. You're a cunt. My name is Adrian Grushka. Shouldn't you be fixing the sink? <laughs> but since we're soon share a brotherhood, you could. Oh, oh, what? What are we gonna do? Gonna go fucking f are we gonna take the ring to Mordor? A brotherhood? No, no, no thanks mate, I don't think I want that. I don't want in your brotherhood, I don't want to be part of your fucking Masonic Lodge of hypnotic rape therapy, I don't want to be part of that. Br share a brotherhood. I hope that's all we're sharing. Just call me Adrian G or AG for short. Really? You're gonna allow me to call you Adrian G or AG or A? Or, g, or just, that's how strong our brotherhood is, Adrian. I'm not, I'm not even going to say the words, I'm just going to go, and you're going to know what I'm saying, man. A-G, on his website, by the way, which I've been on, it's, he calls himself THE Adrian G. 
in case we were confusing with another Adrian G. And whoever the other Adrian G is, I'm sorry, mate. Change your name to something that's going to make it a little bit more socially acceptable. Like Casey Anthony Hitler or something like that. I don't know. I'm a world-renowned dating guru. I've been... Uh, I'm sorry. Can we just stop there? I think, Adrian, that the words world-renowned are, unlike you, doing a lot of heavy lifting there, aren't they? What do you mean world-renowned? By who? Not the world, obviously. I've never fucking heard of you. Right? You're not a world-renowned dating guru. In fact, that's the interesting thing about all of these pickup artists and these dating gurus, is you've never heard of any of them, have you? You'd have thought, wouldn't you? Doesn't that say a lot about how much bullshit these guys live on? That have about how all of them, and the whole thing is a fucking con, because there ain't one of you fuckers who is world-renowned. The only time you become world renowned is when, I don't know, like Roosh V is more fucking famous than you, right? And why? Because he went round, he went, he actually went round the world, you know, teaching Scottish people how to rape. Teaching guys how to bag the world's sexiest women like groceries for the past four years. Oh, I'm sorry, did you say bag women like groceries? Are they hanging up in the back like trophies? Y'all think I'm gonna let my dope freeze? Yo, please, you better out down on both knees. It's Adrian motherfucking G. Yeah, that's not the only sort of analogy he's gonna do that's a little bit unsettling. Bagging women up, you know, like you do a corpse. Tens of thousands of guys week in, week out, turning their sex life downside up. And okay, tens of thousands, right, well tens. Yeah, I'll buy that one. Week in, week out, just guys coming in and turning... Don't, okay, and that's how much of a wanker he is. He says, turning it downside up. Why did you turn that, that phrase upside down? But let me be clear. That'll be a first. I wasn't always the ladies man I'm today. No! Get the fuck out of town. You're kidding me, Adrian. A fucking creepy, weirdo, weedy little piece of shit like you had trouble with the... L I refuse. I refuse to... Be no! In fact, in high school, I was the shy type. Frequently got laughed at. And yeah, I can believe that. I'm hoping to continue this tradition. I used to go out of my way to avoid crowds of people, let alone women. Crowds of people, let alone women. Does that, doesn't that sound like he's kind of suggesting that women and people are two different things? He says some things that make sense. So I know the pain of constantly lacking all too well. Why is the word lacking in inverted commas? In converted commas? Is it, why, is it you, why is it you and you know, pick-up artists, men's rights activists, Nazis, fucking anyone, any extremist, they don't know how to use air quotes. I'm constantly lacking. That means you weren't lacking. Unless you're saying you were lacking in... So, fast forward to around June-ish of 2011. I love the way, you can tell Adrian's an actor there, because he genuinely sounded like he was going, let's flash, let's flash forward to, mm, I don't know, say, 2011, uh, June-ish, I believe. It was a Tuesday, it was quite humid, 62%. Uh, the sun was up, it was uh, 45 degrees, 30% uh, cloud coverage. It was a, mm, a very balmy, balmy afternoon. This is one of the few times out of the year I'd actually been on a date, so I remember it like it was yesterday. You fucking sad prick. But there was something different about this date versus the half dozen or so others I'd had in my life up to that point. Up what was it? Did she give you a discount? This chick. Notice how he spell he says chick, but he spells it chic. Who says chick anymore? Who are they? What is this? The 19th? This ain't Greece, motherfucker. You're not the Fonz. Well, you sort of are. You're a creepy old geezer who's hanging around with people that are far too young for him. This woman, this lady. This, this, this m mammal, this, this human homo sapien biped, this, or this carbon-based life form with, you know, this, this basically an organic support system for a vagina, which is all I see her as. My first true bombshell experience. I mean, absolutely gorgeous with impeccable curves. Think Giselle Bunchen on steroids. 
Oh, impeccable curves. Oh, that's... Uh, one question. Who the fuck is Giselle Bunchen? I'm not going to look it up. I don't want this image. I don't want the image of you and this woman souped up on fucking... Juiced up on... And you on the job. Impeccable curves. Look at him. Fucking... If you were any thinner, mate, Bob Geldof would be doing a concert for you. So as you can imagine, I'm scared shitless. No, seriously. I won't lie to you. I was nervous out of my freaking mind. No, 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 Adrian, trust me. I, I accepted it. You don't have to sit. Believe it or not, Adrian, when you said I was scared, I was not sitting there going, oh, shut up, Adrian, not you. Not old, not Adrian G, not the G, not the certified G. No, no, ain't nothing but a G thing. I tried telling myself, she's only human. She's only human. Yeah, she's only meat surrounded by bones. She is not, she's nothing, right? She's nothing more than just another fucking worthless vessel that I am gonna finally fucking bust a nutting. But due to my inexperience with a woman of this caliber, my anxiety simply overwhelmed me. So we're on this dinner date and things are going decent to start besides the fact I was sweating what felt like a gallon of hollow tip bullets. Well, well, that, you must have been well charming her, wouldn't you? Shaking there, shaking like a shitting dog, sweating like a paedophile outside mother care. Conversation was awkward and body language even more awkwarder. More awkwarder. If that's even a word. It isn't. So after about five straight minutes of near silence, she... I just want you to imagine you're on a date. This guy showed up, right, with the... Who, who, who literally weighs as much as a photograph of himself. Like he's got, and, he, and he's just there, and he's scared, to, and he's just staring at you, sweating for five minutes. And you, you know, because he's thinking, holy shit, look, it's fucking Bella Emberg on steroids, whatever the fucking other name was. He finally checks her phone, gets up, and walks away with a smirk on her face. As if she's holding in an uncontrollable laugh and just walks away without even saying a single word to me. What's she supposed to say? You ain't said one to her. Even took time to push her chair in. No. She, you're, fuck off. Okay, I'm, I'm, that's out of order. Pushing her chair in after she gets up. How, I mean, what kind of bitch would demonstrate such basic fucking manners? At a restaurant. In public. Fuck. Whore. Be as blunt as possible. The fact she could be so maliciously bold and not give to f**ks about my feelings floored me. I'm sorry, am I listening to the same story as you, as everyone else? Let me get this straight, you've turned up, you've said nothing, you've, you've, you've not engaged with her, you've given her no, you've, you've not had any conversation, you're, you're, you're sweating, you're sweating your ass off, and, and I'm supposed to, and she gets up and, and leaves and pushes her chair in, and you, you act like she's just turned up like at the Million Man March dressed in a Klansman's outfit. What do you mean? Where was the where was the moment that you got offended? And if that woman is watching, well done. I mean, she didn't even pretend she had to go to the bathroom and just never come back. Something like that, I would have been able to take a little better. Oh, I see. So you're okay with a woman walking out on a date after five minutes, right? Well, and, and you're okay with that as long as she lies to you. And 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 more importantly. She lies to you and leaves her fucking chair there. I, I can't get over that. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm not going to be able to let that go. That's going to be pissing me off all day. Got up, walked away with a smirk, trying to hold in her laugh, and even worse, took the time to push her chair all the way under the table. With Don't mention the chair, mate. Okay, with the chair. We'll get over the chair. Okay, we can move past the chair. Look at me, Adrian. I believe in you. We can Who? Goes home from a date stewing that a woman, you, she walked out on you after five minutes and you, the chair is the problem. Take the chair home and shag that. Was I hurt? Sure. Good. Actually, I was pretty damn devastated and felt horrible, to be honest with you. But I figured I'd shake it off and bounce back. Because the haters gonna hate, 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 hate. Turns out this wasn't even the worst of the pounding my self-esteem would soon take from this date from hell. Yeah, well, at least it's nice to know Summit took a pounding that night. About a month late on my lunch break, me and my co-worker saw her at another restaurant with a cooler guy. Based on this fucking video, that could literally be, you know, I've narrowed it down to about three and a half billion geezers. And immediately, my heart sank. 
I know, how could she possibly, but how dare she, walk out on your date after five minutes, push, pushing her fucking chair in, and then a month, like, just a month, she didn't even wait a month, she didn't even let that wound heal, she went out with another guy. And she, and she clearly went to a restaurant where she must have known you'd see her. She was outside the odds of, you know, Australia's tiny. You know, they could have possibly, they could have, seen, they could have gone anywhere. They could have gone, they, no, but no, she went on a date, another date, a month. Oh! They sat about a table or two away from us and I couldn't help but think she may have noticed me. Even of course you couldn't, Adrian, because you're a fucking narcissistic, egomaniacal twat. If she didn't notice me, whether she did or didn't, I'm not sure. But with well, how did you? How did she know you were there? Voodoo mind control? Did she smell you? Did she say, "Oh, it's got something got sweatier in here"? Every joke he told and the preceding wailing laugh that followed from her pretty little voice box. I'm sorry. Did you say pretty little voice box? I nearly vomited. Who says that? I just felt smaller and smaller as a man. Every laugh cut deep like a Jinsu knife. A Jinsu knife? Ooh, fucking... Oh. Get over yourself, you fucking worthless sack of shit. Damn, he's really that much cooler than me. Wow, I'm a loser. And you went home and killed yourself. Obviously not. Hindsight. Got online and feverishly began studying all the greatest pickup artists. Yes, because that's what you would do, isn't it? You'd sit there and go, what am I doing wrong? I can't seem to communicate with women. I don't seem to be able to connect with women. What should I do? I know I will go and ask a load of men. Well, this is the alt, and this is, for me, the... The biggest smoking gun that all this pickup artist stuff is bollocks. They're, why do men, when they need to understand women, ask other men? Why are that? Shouldn't there be low? Shouldn't women be the most sort of like dom? Shouldn't be? There, shouldn't they be the dominant gender when it comes to advice? To dating advice to men? No, because they're evil bitches who want to keep us get. They want to. They want to, They've got it. They've got it all up here. They all know. They all. They're all in on it together. They're trying to fucking trap us out. So they. Get, no, it's rubbish. Right? You went online. You talked to that. You feverishly began studying the greatest pickup artists. The greatest pickup artists, such as. as Mystery, Neil Strauss, JT Tran. Oh! No. And plenty others until I couldn't stuff my brain anymore. About 12 minutes then. Pay attention to this next line because it's a corker. I was now programmed to learn and master the art of dropping panties without me even asking. Did you get that? It's the, it's the last four words. Did you hear it? Let's, let's play it again. Without me even asking. Yeah! Without the art of dropping panties without even asking. Programmed to the extent of a German Shepherd guard dog that goes from statue to full fame snarling at even the slightest perceived threat to its owner. What? If you can imagine. Oh, oh no, not me imagination again, uh, Adrian. I'm still struggling. I'm still trying to get over the stress you put me under earlier on when I was, you know, trying to get out of bed and walk. So, I'm now programmed, hardwired to become a pickup master or die trying. Oh, don't say that die trying. Don't fucking fill me with hope. I start going up to random beautiful women, trying different approaches. Rear naked choke, sleeper hold, you know, fucking, you know, just like a nerve grip. Taking the success notes back to my lab like a mad scientist. And of course, you have to compare yourself to a scientist because every fucking grifting, 
chancing little get rich quick prick like you who makes a career out of you know exploiting people who are at their most desperate and vulnerable you have to make out that this is a more valuable education than they could possibly fucking get tweaking the formula improving the formula perfecting the madness is anyone else slightly uh, you know, f feeling slightly uh, queasy and nervous about the fact he keeps referring to himself as mad. You know, he's, I'm, a, I'm mad, and I'm not. I'm a mad. Si I'm a mad shagging scientist. I'm going to go out there, and I'm not going to ask. I'm just going to go go mental. Imagine. Not again, Adrian. Please, with the imagining. All the work that goes into creating a new cure for a disease. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, you didn't. No, no, really, a, really, a cure for a disease. You're the fucking disease, mate. You are the fucking disease. All the field tests and clinical trials, and that is the level I was doing this maniacal research on. M maniac, maniac, mad, mental, maniac. Not asking. And listen, I'm not afraid to admit it. Was I Rico Suave or Casanova my first week out? I did, did you just say Rico Suave? Rico. I'm probably the only person alive on this planet who fucking gets that reference. Rico Suave. Suave. Did you honestly have, you, I mean, fair play, you must have thought long and hard about, because you didn't want to just say Casanova, because that's fucking obvious. I bet you fucking got that. I bet you dressed up like that cunt, didn't you? I don't blame you. Hell no. Hell no! I got rejected more than a midget trying to get on the world's most dangerous roller coaster ride. <laughs> but I took the beating and embarrassment on the chin. You weren't beaten. The only beat you were beaten. You were fucking beaten at home, weren't you? Going Rico Swan. You took it on the chin, yeah, it's only a fucking thing you take on the chin, it's your uncle's bollocks, man. And with all the studying and programming I did, I wasn't discouraged and just kept on learning, interacting, and testing out thousands of methods on my new prey. Oh, I'm sorry, on your new what? What was that word again, Adrian? Can you say it again? On my new prey. Your new prey! 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 Your new prey. prey. Now, that's an interesting word, isn't it? Prey. Because... Um, prey, you know, prey, prey is what, that is the word, I mean, if you extrapolate that out, if, uh, you know, if you've got the prey, and they need to be preyed upon, um, what, what is it, what's that name, what do we call, the, what do we call the thing that hunts the prey, what's that word we call, it's, um, it's, uh, uh um, <laughs> Ugly motherfucker. It's a predator, isn't it? He's bagging women like groceries after he's dropped their panties, hasn't asked because he's mental and he's a predator. He's an insane predator. And you notice something. And I just want to say, this goes back to my previous point. You notice that he's actually saying he's not getting anywhere. Right, do you know why, Adrian, you didn't get anywhere? Because pickup artists are fucking charlatans. The only time point you started getting somewhere, by your own admission, was when you started talking and interacting with women, and you realised that that was a more valuable experience. If you learn how to drive from a driving instructor, you don't spend the first week going backwards at 70 miles an hour the wrong way down a one-way street, do you? You don't put, you know, you don't do that, do you? You don't put the indicators on, the fucking windscreen wipers are going. You don't just rock, mow down a load of people because you forgot what the fucking crossing bit was. No, you don't, do you? You know the rules how to drive there because you've been taught. You don't, some, you don't leave, you know, if you're giving an education, if you've been taught something by an expert, you don't leave that teaching with no fucking clue what you're doing, which is probably the point when you went, Hey, there's money to be made here. Beautiful women. After about four years of total research and real world interaction. I'm sorry, I just, I just found it. I just found the term real world interaction. Wow. 
question, I eventually conquered what is every man's definition of unbridled bliss. Yeah, you fucking did it. You get it. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did them. You you got a woman and you you got a bird, a real bird with great big wobbly knocker, and you did her, didn't you? I farted when I did that. That but that's what happens in the moment, man. It happens in the moment. Just everything blowing out. You did right in the fucking cunt. I mastered the art of pickup. And now I'm here to share all my knowledge to the world. Oh boy, that explains the massive rise in incels in the last four years, doesn't it? Growing up shy like I did has its benefits. I'm humble. I'm sorry, what? You're humble? Yes, and I'm a Winnie Mandela lookalike, aren't I? I'm a humble, I'm not a narcissist. I'm, I'm very humble. In fact, I'm probably the most humble person in the world. No one is more fucking humble than me. Not a narcissist and still have the desire to see others do well. Get your wallets out, lads. I'm gonna rinse every one of you fuckless little virgins dry. That's what you learn. The only joy that comes close to me finally conquering my deepest fears with women do you know how difficult it is to get your basement soundproofed enough where, and get all the women chained up before they get uh, conscious, back conscious, getting them out uh, under cover of daylight? Do you know how difficult that is without the, anyone noticing them when they die, the smell fucking comes in, you have to get a load, you have to start cooking boiling cabbage and fucking beans every fucking night? There's so many obstacles to meeting and keeping a new beautiful woman, let alone multiple, and I'm here today to teach you what you've never been taught in life. And you're gonna find, you know what? There's a fucking good reason why no one taught you it. Listen, this may sound silly, but take a second and really think about this. R really, really think about it. Stop telling me to think. That's the last thing you want. What if they had a class on how to date a ton of beautiful women in say, middle school or high school? I'm gonna assume that when you say, they had a class to teach date women in middle school and high school. You're referring to the class, not the women, aren't you? You're referring to them, aren't you? I, d I can't say for sure. And what do you mean, what if? That would be fucking demented, Adrian. Seriously. Seriously, think about it. I am fucking thinking about it. They have economics classes to teach you about money so you don't go broke. Classes on how to cook so you don't go hungry. A class on physical fitness so you don't get fat and die of an early heart attack. Even if any of that was true, do you think maybe, Adrian, the reason they teach you those things is because in the eyes of most sensible, reasonable fucking educators, they think that it's more important that a child learns how to save their money, how to prepare and eat, cook and eat f food for to eat, and to, I don't know, not die. Before it's today's lesson class, we'll be teaching you how to slam vag. And I could go on and on. Oh, could you? Well, well carry on, fucking squire, thank you. I've got fuck all to do. Hell, they even have classes talking about men who lived 400 years ago and who have no bearing on your current personal life. You live now, and that same thing applies. Four, who's gonna be talking about you in 400 years? Right, no fucker. Maybe the alien archeologists who fucking come to Earth after the human race is extinct and find this fucking video somehow on a fucking hard drive under the ground, and they'll watch it, and they'll realize that this is why human beings evolution be, you know, ultimately reversed, and we ended up back in a fucking sea but due to political correctness. Oh no, no motherfucker, no, not, you are not throwing political, political correctness is the reason we don't teach boys how to get laid at school. Yes, you're absolutely right. You do know that girls go to school as well. What are we gonna do with the girls? Are they gonna be practiced on? Someone get this geezer's fucking computer, get his internet search, Jeffrey, phone the fucking FBI now, seriously. They don't teach you a damn thing about the most important factor in any man's entire life. How to be good with women. For you, Adrian, that might be true because you're a shallow, worthless, insecure sack of shit whose entire fucking, whose entire meaning of his existence, the very thing that he puts the most value in is how many women he's banged. What number is it? How, have I, you know, that's what it is to you. That's all a woman is for you. They're a fucking number. 
That's all they become. They become a fucking statistic. There's no deeper meaning. There's no fucking shared experience. There's no interest. It's just get the knickers off, bang them and go. That's, if that's the most important thing in your fucking life, right? you're doomed from the start. Or how are you supposed to compete with 20 other guys who are hitting on one beautiful chick every single day? How? How am I going to compete with that? Well, it's, it's actually quite easy, Adrian. I'll compete with it the way I normally do. Do you know why? By being the most interesting motherfucker in the room, right? I will be the funniest, the wittiest, the cleverest, the most fascinating human being she's ever fucking seen. That's what I do. That's what I've done my entire life, Adrian. I'm sorry, I was born with personality. That geezer... The world's most interesting man, he makes memes about me. And then there's you. Did the bozos who developed the school curriculums not think of this when they were busy trying to teach us about something that happened 400 years ago in history class? History is just that. History. Do you know what, Adrian? You're right. And I think I've figured something out. I think I know why Adrian G is so keen not to talk about history. He even revises his own. You see, what Adrian G is not telling you is this story he's saying it happened in 2011, which wasn't long after Adrian originally drew uh, came onto YouTube. If you go to his channel, you'll see he's got 1.8 million subscribers, which is a lot of subscribers even today. And you think, well, you know, he must be very good, but he didn't get those subscribers doing this bullshit. He used to have a YouTube channel where he used to do he caught on to the prank fight. You remember that time when pranks were a big thing? Everyone was doing this prank, that prank, these social experiments, all of those fucking things. You know, people were like, you remember Fousey Tube? And what happened with Fousey Tube? And not only Fousey Tube, but all the other people who did pranks, what happened to them? They all got exposed as being fake. And uh, they kind of got sort of, and the whole sort of thing faded out because they realized everyone was kind of being dishonest. But for Adrian, it was a different story. You see, Adrian wasn't just sort of like someone who was exposed uh, on YouTube. No, he ended up on the news. Check this out. Adrian G, as he calls himself, is now a social media celebrity. He portrays himself as a karma cop, along with his production assistant, Matthew, who claims his only role is to help film these videos. Together, they expose the frailties of ordinary people. Would you, for instance, hand in a lost phone? They're especially big on honesty. But the honesty thing's pretty important. It is, it definitely is. Yeah, absolutely. Their showpiece being the catching of heartless Adelaideans, thieving from a blind man, who when seeking change of $5, accidentally holds out a $50 note. In the video, you get three people basically steal your money. Yeah, yeah. It was actually just, about four, I think. Why did you just let them, not let them... I didn't let them go away. Yeah, why not? Because it's 50 bucks. Like, uh, like, like, let's say if I let them get away, that's, that's four people, that's 200 bucks. All right. Our brave karma cops admit to risking their own safety while exposing how despicable our fellow humans can be. A couple of them look a bit unsavoury. Were you not worried that, you know, this could get a bit dicey, you could get attacked? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I mean, when I did approach them, if I would feel like, I mean, there was one actually I was going to leave. Um, I approached him and I was like, hey man, we're filming a social experiment. Uh, can, can I have my 50 bucks back? And he would take the 50 back and then he'd start, like, not going, off, off, going off at me. He was a bit frustrated. And, you know, at this point I was like, all right, so I'm not going to get the 50 back because he, he was starting to get a bit, you know, heated up. He was like, oh, this is a stupid experiment. But in fact, their safety was yeah, yeah, never yeah, at yeah, risk, yeah, yeah. and nor Thanks. was their $50. 55, are you sure? Okay. I'm one of the actors. Um, he approached me uh, via email on starnow.com, and he asked me to go do a social experiment. And I'm new in the town, so first, first ever thing I've ever done in, in acting, so I decided to do it. This is Ramon. Here he is in the video stealing the $50. But what he was doing was following directions. When I got there, he just said, all right, you're going to play a bad guy. You're going to steal my money and do it and tell me what to do. And I did it in 10 minutes and went. What Adrian hasn't told anyone is everyone in his video is an actor. Here they are on the talent website Star Now. 
One of the actors who played a bad guy has even listed Adrian's video in his resume. And here are some photos from behind the scenes of the shoot. The results of the social experiment are completely engineered. But the best acting isn't in Adrian's video. You're about to see it in this story. When I put it to him, yeah. he's a fake. But your whole video is a lie, because everyone in it's an actor. Yeah. But you haven't revealed that to ever, anyone. Yeah, Because right. all, all the people in it are, the thieves in your, in your video yeah. are actors. Yeah, right. Is that right? I mean, no, that's not right. Yeah, they are. I'm sorry to interrupt. I, mean, I know you're all probably reveling in this and enjoying it. It's very, very, it's very chef's kiss. But can we just play that moment again where it takes him about a fortnight to fucking realise that the guys just said to him, all the people in your video are actors and they're all fake. Can we just play that again? Because it's got... Look at him. But your whole video is a lie because everyone in it's an actor. Yeah. But you haven't revealed that to ever, anyone. Yeah, Because right. all, all the people in it are the thieves in your in your video yeah. are actors. Yeah, right. Is that right? I mean, no, that's not right. Yeah, they are. This is a guy who thinks he can teach you how to talk to people, how to be, how to have confidence to, you know, be charming and charismatic. The motherfucker didn't even realize he was admitting that everything was fake. It, he did it, he said it twice. He's a fucking idiot. You want to trust this guy with your love life? Here's the guy in the singlet. He even puts it on his resume that he was in your in your video. You know him. This is the girl at Glenelg that tells you this is one of the other girls. They're all actors. They all follow your profile, your acting profile on okay. Star Now. Everyone in that video was an actor. You have duped 1.2 million people. Yeah, of all your other videos, are they all fake? Are they all lies? No, no, no. Just this one. This is a fake video, Matthew. Don't lie. Wow. Don't lie to me. Be honest. No, don't tell me you don't know them. They, fo look. they follow you do? on your page. You don't have to react to Adrian. Oh man, you guys are good actors. Did you go to acting school as well? Because you know they're it's fake. Because you camera, contacted man. them. Suffice to say, after all of that, Adrian kind of like when it was a little bit uh, unpopular. Lots of people. He was a bit of He's a bit embarrassed about it, um, understandably. But then he sort of disappeared for a bit, and then he comes back, and all of a sudden he is this fucking dating guru. And if you thought some of the things he said in the, the pointed out in the uh, in his uh, video were a little bit creepy, depending on what the context of them, right? Check this other scene out. From from one of his this is one this is a video this is a bit where they talk about a video uh, he made of him picking up a woman in a library. But if you think this video is disturbing, you should see some of Adrian's other videos. He is quite the creep, even if these are actors. <laughs> Did you see that? That girl saying, "I don't want to give you a number. I've got a boyfriend." He grabs her by the neck and pulls her towards him. When she's saying no, and she's an actress. He paid a woman to pretend to stand there to, to say no, to not consent, and he just assaulted her. Do you want to trust a guy who would do that? What do you think this guy would do with someone who wasn't a paid actress? If that's what he wants, he's willing to put himself out there. He thinks that is cool. If, you, if grabbing some, a woman by her neck and pulling her in and forcing her to kiss you against her will, if that is cool, then how do you make that cooler? Think about that. That's just creepy, dude. I think we're done. That's No, seriously, that's just creepy. Why do you do that? You're... As for Matthew, we're not sure how many of these films he's involved in, but he isn't as good at holding out as Adrian. No, you've got a good point about that. No, you were a grub. Talk your way out of it, Matt. I want to put you on there. Yeah, you know, obviously some of the content that he puts up there probably could be. You're fake. There's no honour amongst fakers. It wasn't even some cheeky attempt to con the media and then expose their lack of scepticism. Adrian just loves the attention. He went with the lie. So what next for Adrian and Matthew? Just watch the poll, guys. Oh, Matt, you're so caring. Thank you. Anyway, what's the next one? What's the next one you're doing, boys? You don't want to know. Can I get a part in it? You don't want to know. Or have I got a part in it?
although Adrian may need to find a new cameraman. I personally just film, so... So you, you're putting the blame on him? No, well... Dropping him in oh, the bucket? Yeah, no, I'm not dropping yeah, he's putting you in the bucket. I'm not dropping anyone into talking? it. If there's one thing I know, if there's one thing that I think is very well known about the fields of pickup artistry and, you know, get-rich-quick gurus, is that they're liars, they're fraudsters, they're charlatans. He went from fake pranking into two other areas, both notorious for having, for being riddled with a large majority of frauds and liars. I'm not saying that everyone who does that, who does pick up artistry and find and get rich, I'm not saying they're all frauds, but what do you think the odds are that he's part of that minority? So thank you for watching this video. My name's Dick Coughlin. I'll leave links to all of my social media, my Patreon. Please subscribe, like the video, share it. Adrian, I've got just one question for you. What you know about rolling down in the deep When your brain goes numb You can call that mental freeze When these people talk too much Put that shit in slow